Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fruitful Trees, and I have a surprise for you today. It is October, mid-October, and there's so much stuff that's so cool growing that's out of uh, mango season. It's really cool. I have some persimmons on my tree. That's really cool. That's the first time I'm getting persimmons. I'm really excited about that. A star fruit tree is loaded, and I'm just playing around with grafts and grafting and learning how to graft, and I'm so excited because I have this uh, one tree here, and it's what I want to talk about today. Uh, I have on my property two Kent mango trees. Now, before I knew about all the zills, different types of mangoes and everything else, Kent and Kit were the two mangoes I was sorting out when I first got this property. Well, my Kit mango, I, I got scared of it because I heard so much about the bacteria black spot that I got rid of it. But I kept the Kent mango, and, you know, about half of the mangoes uh, do get bacteria black spot, but the other half were pretty good and they last late into the season. Well, that's one tree that I had, but I had another tree in a pot and I wanted to get in the ground and I just picked this spot in my front yard. Now it's way too close to my mame tree that keeps growing, but uh, I, I, I use this as my experimental tree. And this is the tree where I graft stuff uh, onto this tree. So I have a fair child that took, and it's growing really nice. It's growing really big. I have an orange sherbet. This is very interesting. This orange sherbet graft and I'm not, and by the way, folks, with grafting, I'm learning. And my success rate gets better in time. But this one, this orange sherbet graft, it was like months, maybe six months before a graft actually came out. So that was really cool. I'm learning patience is important uh, when it comes to not digging up trees that you think died or too soon or, or cutting grafts too soon. Now, this, this is a whole branch here that the grafts didn't work. I've said a lot of my grafts don't work. So... I'm really excited about this one here because uh, this graft is still green. So that's a great sign. Anyway, and that's more, uh, and, oh, and then there's the, the big Angie graft that's, that's at the top. And that's what I want to eventually do. I wanted to convert this to Angie. But here's what the video is about today, folks. It is mid-October, mid-October on this Kent tree, this small Kent tree. And check that out. Who else in Southern Florida, in this zone that I'm in, still has mangoes on their tree. And this is the last one. Who has mangoes still hanging on their tree? And this one's hanging and it's not ready yet. It's hard. Uh, so I know there are some people up in the Orlando area, which is a different zone. Uh, they usually get mangoes a month later uh, than we do here at the beginning of the season, but they last a month later at the end of the season. But it's mid-October here in Southern Florida. Uh, what are we, zone 10A or 10B, whatever. But, but I still got a mango hanging on the tree. So that's really cool. And I had two and recently a one came off and I ate it and it was uh, pretty good. It was nice. I put this graft on today here. Uh, that was it. And then this one I'm really excited about because it is sprouting out. So that's really nice. That's another Angie. So uh, this was an Angie that I grafted. Where is that graft? I grafted right here. And it's doing really well. So it said, uh, as new as I am to grafting, and I have a whole bunch of grafts that didn't take, uh, I'm learning. So that was really cool. That's what I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you uh, that mango, mango still hanging on the tree. Uh, but check this out. One more thing before I let you go here today. All the trees are growing so nice here. This Chambadoc, <laughs> this Chambadoc tree is getting nice and tall. And that Gene jackfruit's getting nice and tall also. But here's what I wanted to show you today. Oh, my first avocado graft that took. This was a while ago that I did that. This is a Monroe avocado on a super hot avocado tree. So that's really cool. Well, I'm going to show you this cool thing. This is a Duncan tree. It's a newly planted Duncan tree. Well, not new. I planted it maybe a year ago. But it's, I haven't had any mangoes on it. But... Uh, I was just playing around to see how things are going to come out. And I had a sugar loaf. Sugar loaf is great. I tasted it last year, a wonderful mango. And I was skeptical of having a Duncan tree. You know, of all the mangoes, it's one of the best to get uh, most productive trees, but it's certainly not the best taste in mango. So, you know, I planted it in, in my yard here that has an irrigation system before I planted it in, in the other property that doesn't. But I, I have mixed feelings about Duncan because it, it produces so well, but it's not as 
tasty as all these other mangoes. But I planted it anyway, and I didn't want to take it out, but I'm using it also uh, to graft and to learn how to graft and, and see what happens with that. But I have a sugar loaf, a baby sugar loaf, and it got some uh, good looking uh, budwood, which I'm learning uh, how to graft. And thank you, everybody uh, that, who's been teaching me, and it's been great. But here, look, sugar loaf graft popping through. Can you guys see that? I don't even want to touch it, but a sugar loaf graft popping through. I'm going to make a video about what I've learned about grafting and the success I'm having now. But here was another sugar loaf that didn't make it. That's not looking good. So uh, I don't really desire to have a lot of different varieties on, on, on all these different trees. Uh, but I realize even if the graft takes and I don't want a lot of different varieties, I can always cut cut it off. So it's not that. It's, it's good practice. But here, this is really cool. Just learning how to pick uh, budwood for the trees. Because uh, I made a video with Alex at uh, Tropical Acre Farms recently. And I wasn't picking it at the right time. But I learned how to pick it now. And my success rate has certainly went up. And I'm really excited about that. So these are two for my pineapple pleasure trees. And look at this one. Perfectly picked at the perfect time. That graph must have not been on there a week before it started sprouting out. And it took just fine. This one's still green. Nothing come up here yet on this one. Uh, but that's uh, pretty cool. So I definitely got to get that video out. And as I'm learning how to do these graphs and so on, uh, I haven't. I have a, a soursop tree that I want to graft onto a sugar apple that I'm going to start experimenting with. But I'm just so excited about learning at these graphs. And let me show you if it's still... <laughs> if it's still here. So this one I know is going to come out. I don't know if I'm going to keep it on this tree, but I have a Vietnam uh, or Thai Forlan mango. They call it the thunder mango. I have a tree in the front. And now that I learned how to pick them at the right time, I said, let me experiment with this. So I took a nice cutting off of it and I put it on this step mango tree and I just to practice and to see how it goes again. If it comes out and I, I like the mango, I can keep it. But I, if there's too many mangoes on one tree or if I find that it's one is overtaking the other, I can always cut it. It's not the biggest deal. Uh, but this one is a, a, a Farlon mango. And I am sure, I'm sure the way I picked it, the stage I picked it in and so on, uh, and it's still green, I'm feeling really confident about that. So uh, that's that's really nice, and and there's my other Kent tree, by the way. And this tree's uh, much bigger, probably the biggest tree in my yard, but I did cut it back. But it's looking nice, so I'm feeling good about that. Anyway, everybody, and what else? Check this out before I go. This is really cool as well. This is a mame tree. I think this is a Pantane mame, and as you can see here, there's a bunch of little mames or flowering that's how they flower these trees it's really cool and it takes a really long time before you actually get my maze on this i was just with alex at tropical acres and he has a bunch of trees and we're going to make a separate video about my maze because they have a lot of varieties there that are pretty cool but look at that what yes my may my may so there's about one two three four on this tree i've never gotten my may anywhere before though there's five so, and there's six, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, I left a nice space for this in my yard. And I have banana trees just about everywhere because when these trees are young, I'll get bananas and I could always cut the bananas back later on. So, feeling really good about that. Feeling good about everything. I mean, I'm so excited. I'm, my, my success rate for the grass going up. But again, a mango in October, October 15th. Now, I know in the upper zones, like in Orlando, some of you, that might be just normal. But for those down in South Florida, is that normal? Or is that like, whoa? And is that considered an out-of-season mango or just a mango that's hanging on to the season? Let me know what you think. Any other tips, suggestions you have or topics you'd like me to speak about? Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up as well. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much, everybody. And keep growing.